Would you believe these images here were generated with one sentence using AI? This image here was made from the prompt, Hope for a Divine Future. This one, Futuristic City Sakura Festival. And this one, Fall of the Cyberpunk Roman Empire. Hey everyone, it's Kevin, and I created these pieces with a system that utilizes two AIs called VQGAN plus CLIP. The method to combine CLIP with other GANs was first implemented a few months ago by Ryan Murdoch, and then the CLIP plus VQGAN iteration was created and then imported onto Google Colab by Catherine Crossan. Since it's been exploding in popularity and is one of the funnest tools to create AI-generated art. How this works is that you have one part, VQGAN, that generates an image and the other part, CLIP, guides the process to produce the desired result. VQGAN comes from the paper Taming Transformers for High Resolution Image Synthesis. This GAN, or Generative Adversarial Network, produces high resolution results in a more optimized way in comparison to previous architectures. You've probably seen popular GANs like StyleGAN2, which is capable of generating people or cats that don't actually exist. To accomplish this, the AI is trained on an insane amount of data. CLIP stands for Contrastive Learning Image Pre-Training and comes from the paper Transferable Visual Models from Natural Language Supervision. Basically, CLIP is able to classify an image by scoring how well it matches a description. With the combination of both VQGAN and CLIP, you have a system that will work together many times until it produces a visual of whatever prompt you specified. To learn more about this combination and to see other examples, you can also visit the Twitter at images underscore AI. They also have a tutorial that's pinned at the top with a link to the Google Colab for you to try. I'll leave links to all the resources in the description as well. If you don't know what Colab is, it's a notebook within a browser that allows you to execute code. The process is relatively simple and you can generate your first image in minutes. Just make sure to copy the notebook to your drive. There's also a few tricks people have found like adding classifier keywords such as rendered in Blender, Unreal Engine, digital illustration, etc. Apparently it improves your results. The amazing thing about the results is receiving visual representations of abstract concepts like hope. You can attribute this to the data set the models were trained on, but it's still extremely impressive. With that said, I leave you with one last experiment with the prompt, The Meaning of a Happy Life. So it looks like it started off pretty simple, but then it started overcomplicating. Not quite sure what it's telling me, so maybe only humans know the true answer. Thanks for watching everyone, have fun experimenting.